Hey everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Bully the Scholarship Edition. In the last episode, we did a bunch of pranks on Halloween, ending with the big prank. Unfortunately, I didn't get all the Halloween collectibles, but I can get some of them later. Unfortunately, I cannot get um, pumpkins. So, sad. Sad, be that. But, on the plus side, we get to go to biology class, and I get to dissect something else today. And I know what it is, and I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So I'm going to shut up, and then I'm going to go to biology. Oops. I accidentally hit my remote against something. But anyway, not important. Biology class is. That's it without me, toilet stain. I really, really, really need some help. Okay, you're true. Sorry, Algae, I have class. Yeah, I am not going to, you know, escort you back to the library when I have class and I'm right in front that of the class. morning, class. Are we all ready to cut something open today? Good morning, Mr. S. something. I think it's slaughter. Today we dissect a rat with incredibly large balls. Okay. Obviously, we start with our pins. Then we make our incision carefully. All the way down to the test piece. Then we do the crown, the testes region again. Carefully open your specimen. In your pins. Now, first thing you need to identify is its teeny tiny heart right there. This should be a lot easier than the frog heart because of its, you know, smaller size. Be very gentle when you are cutting, uh, making your incisions around the heart. Otherwise, you might damage the specimen. The doctor, I believe, is uh, Professor Slaughter. You cannot rush science. You cannot rush science. Uh, next is our liver that looks like gum, personally, in my opinion. Uh, be very careful around the edges. You don't want to damage your specimen, as I said before. Uh, I'm doing a lot better here than I was on the frog. Good. Wow, that's disgusting. Next are intestines. Again, very small, but so far the largest organ. Actually, yeah. next to the skin, the intestines are the largest organ in not just the human body, but also in any animal body, I believe. As you know, we're not dissecting humans, we're dissecting a rat. We're not that lucky. Okay, and now time for its ball sack. Game isn't considered mature because of, you know, the ball sack. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, I need to hurry, Dr. Slaughter. I remember slow and steady in the race. But not at this current point in time. I have 17 seconds. Oh, thank God that was close. I have a steady hand for a ruffian. I have never failed a biology class in this game and I will not start. Let's see, I forget what the second thing we get for beating biology is. Ah, the hazmat yeah. headgear. You don't get a hazmat I suit, knew just the headgear. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, if you're next to a banister, if you press Z, you slide, as you just saw me do twice. Uh, let's see what's on the bulletin board. Wait. Okay. Beware, crazy old man buying school may have rabies, don't feed him. Oh, who put that up? That's not fair. He doesn't have rabies, I know the guy. He taught me how to use a basic fighting move that we should have known to start out with. Oh god, what glitch, random glitch. 
Yeah, that happens sometimes both in the original Bully game and in Scholarship Initiative. Sometimes you'll glitch out when doing certain things, like sliding down a banister or trying to get on a bike when they come into play. I'm going to do character sheets right now, because it's a very quick mission and it's a little side quest to do. Bunch of thieving jerks! What's up, oh, Melvin? Melvin? Ah, greetings. My favorite. Jimmy, Nerd. listen. Sex Some ruffians took it upon themselves to steal my grottos and gremlins character sheets and won't return them. We're playing tonight. The whole situation is untenable. Grottos and gremlins? Well, you are sad. Yeah. Sad? I'm distraught. Roleplay is nice. the high point of human achievement. I agree. In fact, upon reflection, I am prepared to offer a bag of groats to the fair knight, whomsoever recovers his precious screens. How many groats? Do you accept the quest? How much? Ten groats. Uh, what? I mean ten bucks. Wait here. You need to separate reality from fantasy. And you can have your fantasy. pick of my wenches. Great. How many wenches could you have? I mean in real life, you don't have any wenches. There's only one nerd girl. And I'm pretty sure you're not doing anything with that. Alright, time to get the first Scrawn as a Gremlin sheet. Alright, you've got something of Melvin's. Give it up. Alright, I'll give it to you. You beat my friend in a little game. Okay. He kicked you in the nuts. You kick him in the nuts. Until one of you gives up. If you win, you get the sheet. If not, Fair. we kick you. Okay. That's just stupid. Maybe, but I go first. Oh, you dick. Stuff, right? We have five seconds to get up. So Alright, my turn. Oh, you guys are assholes! Sweet. Okay, let's see. We need to get Evomera, the goddess of rebirth, the watcher of the earth, and the light bearer. We already got one. This is the funnest piece of paper I've ever had. Oh, whoops. That's my mistake. Alright, let's do this! Oh, by the way, guy, funnest is not a word. See ya. Oh, that's him throwing them. Oh, hey, I found I'm another rubber band. For one of those. Okay, okay. I really do care. Don't. Got him. Stop that. Got him. Oh no! No! Oh, I failed! Because the stupid prefix had to show up then and there! Oh. I failed you! Melvin, I have failed thine quest! Thy shame is heavy. For shame. However, I can always do that quest whenever I like, so. Uh, well, the next class is going to happen in a uh, few minutes, so I'm going to get through the next class, and then we're going to try and get those character sheets again. Come on. Show me what class it is. Music? Eh, alright, let's do music. <coughs> Excuse me. And I can do something to the beat. Let's see, which uh, song is this, and what instrument do we get? It decides it wants to Now then, is everyone here? Yes. Excellent. Let's proceed. Okay. Maracas. Really? Maracas? I can't really do anything to this song. It kind of sounds out of tune. It really, I'm probably going to stop right now Because this song is just plain awful And so is my reverging the Doing this stuff, shaking maracas is hard Why is this actually included in this song? I mean, makes no sense Oh, I actually did sing through the entire thing. I was gonna cut it. Soon. You're a natural at banging out the rhythm, Jimmy. What are you talking about? I shook maracas. 
and they were way out of place in that song that I just fell all over. Well, I got a Bandcamp t-shirt. Whatever. I hate all of the uh, rewards we get for math class, by the way. They are just terrible. As I told you, you probably heard in the background that thing about Ted. Well, as you know, Ted is the jock leader. Oh, sorry guys. Sorry, sorry, that's my bad. Alright, let's try this again, only this time I'm going to get all those sheets and I'm not going to beat up a prefix by mistake. Bunch of thieving Come on, thank you. Okay, let's see what we need to, uh, which characters we have after that, you know, besides it wants to go away. Let's see, Elwyn, Goddess of Rebirth, uh, Jeroba, the Watcher of the Earth, Kia, the Lightbearer, and Gwyneth, the Elf Princess. Okay, so I guess they have Gwyneth, the Elf Princess. You already saw what I have to do here. Alright, you got something to melt. Give it up. Alright, I'll give it to you. You beat my friend in a little game. He kicked you in the nuts, you kick him in the nuts, until one of you gives up. You win, you get the sheep. If not, we kick him. That's just stupid. Maybe, but I go first. You suck. That's some funny stuff right there. Okay, you win. I give up. My now. Jerks. I don't even get to friggin' get my turn. All right, let's get going after this. Ow! Oh my God, a bully using nerd lingo in a in RPG basis? What's the world coming to? What are you talking about? I'm almost on top of you. Oh, whoops! And there goes that. If I can make it. Whoa, you tripped a little girl, dude. Thank you for the sheet. That was awesome how that prefix just did my work for me. Alright, let's see. I use let's see a little too much. Ow! Thank you, Bucky. I got the sheet, dude. Thanks, Beatrice. Okay, Bucky, you finish him off. I got stuff to do. Ah, Koba. Oh, hey. I missed the rubber band that was here. Excellent, excellent. Alright, here we go. Last sheet. I don't know what I'm reading. I just don't know. Got to get some character oh, sheets. Oh no, wait, I'm sorry. This was Bucky. I don't know who that last name was. Magic, you take that back! Are you oh, no. How dare you say such lies! Get that ogre. Oh, sorry. I, I meant to hit the nerd, or the jock. The friggin' bully! That's what you get for saying magic isn't real! Alright, time to give Melvin back his sheets. Know how we know this game was made by nerds? We help the nerds a lot. You recovered my precious document register! You are a no man indeed! 
Just give me the money, Melvin. No problem, Melvin. You have earned it. And Tis don't what forget about the witches. Holy moly! Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get me any wenches. Alright. I'll, I'll handle the wench prop the wench situation on my own, thanks. I will take your ten dollars though. Useless sissy. Who are you calling a useless sissy prefix? Do I have to smack a bitch? Does Jimmy Hopkins have to beat the crap out of a prefect? Okay, here we go. I believe this mission where we're going to help Gary is where it's revealed why I believe he's paranoid schizophrenic. You shall see. But before I do any of that, let's see. Nope, I already activated this. Okay, so I'm going to have to do this with what I got. Help Gary. What's up with you, Gary? You okay? There you are. Come on, I found something incredible. Hold on, relax, man. I can't keep getting in trouble. I can't get expelled again. It's always about me. It's you. Me, Not me, really. me. I'm thinking bigger picture. And you're worrying about getting into trouble? You know what? You really are something. What bigger picture? I'm... Uh, we are gonna take He certainly over has a problem school. with that, we doesn't he? We are not taking over anything right now. Time and tide wait for no man, my friend. Mm. It seems they do wait for a wannabe tough guy who's nothing but a little girl. You're full of it. So you keep telling me. Look, now come on. I promise you, after this, things are never gonna be the same again. Oh, I'm so excited. I should have stopped taking those pills ages ago. That's yeah, debatable. Right. Whatever you say, Gary. That is very debatable. You know, it occurs to me I still haven't filmed any of the mini games. I'll probably do that after we finish this chapter off, which is going to be from this mission, so. By the way, this episode might end in an odd place because you know I want to include the next chapter opening in the next episode so hey Harriet Jimmy's gonna kick your ass damn it Let's teach you a well as long as he's helping because he instigated this I'm just gonna let them run now why do I just keep giving them dead arms? I want to do more taunts than that. I know this. Oh, you're you're dead. Okay, Gary, you take them on for the rest of the moment. I'm just gonna chill back here. Indian burn. Don't just love those weird noises that they make. All right, let's get going, Gary. After you. Okay, into the basement. This is actually where the uh, tombstones are. If you haven't gotten them all. This is a little different than how I remember. You better lead the way. Yes, make me lead the way in an area that I've never been to. What could go wrong? Not here. Follow me. Okay. Fine. That cage wasn't locked before. Damn it. All right. Let's see. Is there any kind of way? Ah, there we go. We can use this. I suggest you do break these crates if you have low health or, you know. Would you hurry there, Jimmy? You're running low on some kind of tools, because sometimes they do have the tools in them. If I could just get over there, thank you. I wish I could have kissed the girl before I did this, you know, so I get the bonus, but... Oh, well. Life's a bitch, then you die. We can't get in there. How can we get the switch? Oh, no. Quite a predicament, huh? Let me guess. You're gonna make me figure out how to do it, right, Gary? Fine. Jimmy, you dunce. 
Use your slingshot to get the brew. I was about to do that, but I wanted to break these first. Way to ruin it for everyone who hasn't seen the game, Gary. What's wrong with you? Hey, Jimmy, see if you can knock the brew over somehow. Make it hit the switch. You already told me how to do that, Gary. Jimmy, over here! Shut up, Gary. No one likes you. Now, here's another switch I used to. Whoa, fine oh boy. Well, how are we gonna ah? Like if you press down C down and down, you can you crawl can and sneak around as such. To get out of sneak, you just simply press the down on the D-pad again. Wait, before I do that, rubber my band. Good. Almost there. Oh, I was wrong. The pumpkins are in there. Not the tombstones. That's weird. I thought it was the other way around. And that's really strange. They're keeping pumpkins that will go rotten? Huh. Huh. A steam leak. I've heard of those happening, but I've never seen one. Six. There, now I have the pumpkin head. Unfortunately, I didn't get whatever we get for... That's not trash. Um, the tombstones. Oh, well. Um... Okay, so we need to stop the steam leak, and there's a furnace right here. Oh, whoops. I suggest we use the fire extinguisher. Quick, before it heats up again. Nah, I think I'm just gonna chill back here, Gary, you know? And then I'm gonna stand directly under the steam, you know? What could go wrong? Okay, you see that door? Where is it? This door right here? This actually goes back into the school. This is the janitor's closet right here. Okay, now I'm ready to continue. Guys, we're about to go into the hole. It's right down there. Yeah, this is the hole. Okay, let's see what's going on. Wonder if I get to keep the fire extinguisher. Because if I do, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that. So, Jimmy boy, here we are. The hole. The place where this school separates the men from the boys, the wheat from the chaff, and all that nonsense. Okay, okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people and keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, Same my what? friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy Boy. I know oh, you sell that stuff about me behind my back. What? what are you talking about? I didn't say about anything behind your back. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. I never said Only I wanted to. We never said we wanted to run the damn school. It's gonna be me. And by the way, that's why I think he's paranoid schizophrenic. As you know, we didn't say jack about him, but he thinks we did. Ernest to the left of us, Boys Russell to the right. Well, from my point of view, it's left and right. Russell! Oh, no. Now I hate you, Gary. Now I hate you even more. Now I hate you. I know. Russell, don't beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those bodyguard animals. Oh, damn it! Come here. Russell won. Okay, I think we're gonna end this video here before the boss fight so I can do this perfectly. So, see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>